And welcome back, guys, to Let's Play Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. This is part 5, and I am your host, Winsor 13, and we are finally going to finish off the one-star quests. I know, pretty freaking exciting. So, this next quest, actually, is, uh, can either be really, really quick, or it could be the bane of our existence. The only reason is, is it comes down to pretty much luck and chance of when we get monster guts. Because the, uh, the e Eptonoth, or whatever they're called, or Etoths, I, I don't remember their names. Uh, do do do, so we go Guts and Glory. Uh, are Epioths, Ipio I guess? Is it Apioths or Epioths? Nothing's making it a long E, so it, it should be... Epios, I believe. Like, epic, so... Epioth? Sounds good, yeah, yeah, I think we'll... I think we'll go with that. So we only need three, but those things have a tendency of dropping raw meat the most often. So, uh, yeah, uh, this could end up being fun. Super fun, because, uh... Extra stuff happens during this, uh, this quest that I'm, uh, not gonna spoil. But Guts! It's what's for dinner. You definitely have to, you gotta take a pause, because there's colon in there. Hi again. You know, I just live for my job, so I figured I'd pop in to give you a bit more advice. Lucky you. Once a quest is started, your immediate to-do list should include two items. Check the quest limit time. Take items from the supply box. Stick to these two simple rules, and you'll enjoy a long career of happy hunting. Good luck. All right, well, well, thank you. Time remaining 50 minutes. Gosh, if it really took me 50 minutes to <laughs> to actually do this. That's actually really neat that it, uh, it gives you normal shot uh, 1 and pellet shot uh, 1 uh, 20. It's, it's actually really good. Like, it doesn't seem like you can buy a lot of this stuff later on, but it will save you so much money in the long run, I would always suggest taking them. Need to do So fishing harpoons I can keep. I think I will take that just in case and that as well just sort of a good rule of thumb I guess <laughs> the one good benefit to this set is um, you get um, I think it's like hunger or something let me double check uh, do, do yeah have hunger which I guess I can if I go over here yeah I, I unfortunately it doesn't look like I can actually uh, check to see what it actually does but what that does is it makes your stamina reduce much much slower than it would normally like for example after I think it's about maybe five maybe it's ten minutes uh, one chunk of your uh, stamina bar will disappear like it will just it will cease to exist because your your hunter is getting technically tired from all the hacking and slashing and hacking and slashing um, and yeah, you need to consume food to keep yourself high energy. I mean, makes sense, I guess. Seems sort of weird that it always has to be meat, but let's be honest. Meat always seems to be the best thing. Aw, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right, you can't, like, jump into the water with, a, with your, uh, with your knife. That'd be cool, though. Let's kill this guy. Get him. Now I got him. He's he's a dead one now. Dude. So here comes the luck of the draw, pretty much. So there's one. It'd be really funny if you could get three here. All right, now there's. That's actually super lucky though. I didn't get a raw meat off of them. That's usually uh, that's usually the big thing. Now I don't technically need to collect. Uh... Ooh, a black pearl. That that actually could be really, really useful. I think those in particular are account items. Or they could be used for something to completely different. I I can't actually remember at this point. Um, hunting fleet sometimes brings these back. The black glow fetches a high price. Okay, so they're good for selling. I don't think that... It doesn't say that they're commodities, so... Well, I didn't even know that black pearls could drop. Ooh. Oh, it's just fish. <laughs> I thought it was another um, Epioth, but no, sadly no. Speaking of which, uh, after this, I have to re remember to remind myself to uh, 
go to the item lady because uh, she may uh, offer something so we can keep track of how many things uh, the Winslet kills. I mean, I'm sure there's some of you at home that are definitely keeping track for some odd reason. <laughs> it's really funny to to watch or, or see like comments on my Let's Plays, you know, almost two years ago. And people are like, how could you let that happen? <laughs> because of this, and oh my Jesus. What? What? What's that? Um. What's this? Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh no! Yeah, just took the words right out of my mouth there, Guild Sweetheart. Good hunter, this. this is terrible. The creature you see before you is Legiacris, the sea monster that has been tormenting our poor village. What terrible timing. Relax. I must relax. Breathe. Okay. Whew. Now, get out of there as quickly as you can. If you insist on inquiring the quest items, please pick an area where the Legiacris is nowhere to be seen. Don't be reckless. You're no match for that creature right now. Live to hunt another day. All right, so we could take her advice, but I kind of want to get the carves off of this thing, and uh, he kind of wants my face, but he's gonna roar, so I could probably, probably get, <laughs> I could probably get, uh oh, okay, I can, I can, I can survive one hit. He's gonna, he's gonna think about it. Uh oh, I got a monster gut. That's all it's worth. It. Ow. Okay. <laughs> all right, it's time to get out of here. <laughs> Time to get out of here already. But as you can see, as I'm running away from this monster, my stamina depletes really, really fast. The reason being is your hunter is trying desperately to get away. You know, it gives you that extra boost of speed on the cost of your stamina. But I got an extra monster gut, so it was well frickin' worth it. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get our revenge. There, there's no doubt about it. That's for darn sure. Alright, so let's kill some of these guys. It's pretty much used to, to bring the, uh, the apron off sort of into the area, pretty much. Oh, while that guy's dying. Kill this one. There we go. I think they will attack me if I'm not looking at them. Raw meat. And please give me another monster gun. I really don't want to have to dodge another... Uh, Nope, that's a hydro hide. Okay. It's over here. There we go. Three monster gets. We're all set and ready to go. Don't have to see Legiacris at all. <laughs> that's okay. He actually did very minimal damage to us. Now that I actually look at it, like he did a lot of red uh, damage. And what that is, is that's damage that will regenerate over time. Uh, for all the people that are wondering at home and have never played a regenerative health thing before. I actually don't know what other games use the red health system. Um, I feel like I played one recently that had that. Well, actually a lot of fighting games have it. That's for darn sure. Especially Capcom fighting games. If you, um, if you, for example, in Marvel vs. Capcom, it's got red health. And it sort of regenerates after you uh, get it after a little while. Or you don't get hit. So here I am rambling about something like that that I already know the answer to. I'm sure I would love to actually hear from you guys to, for you guys to tell me uh, other things that... Or other games that use that type of system. Ow. Goddamn jaggies. All I want to do is harvest some bugs. You know, like... That's all I want. All I want for Christmas. Even though Christmas is... Actually, Christmas is getting closer and closer. 2014, it's something that happens when you get older that time just sort of goes by so much faster. I know it, it's preaching to the choir, especially for some of my younger viewers that are still in high school and stuff. And you feel like, you know, a year takes forever. Oh, I found nothing. Yeah, that happens when a body fades away or you leave a body too long. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. It's just, like, as soon as I was out of university, life started to, like, fast forward. In, in good ways and in bad ways, you know? Like, 
I still haven't found a job in my field. You know, it's I'm almost uh, I'm almost 28. Well, next year I'll be 28, and yeah, it's really kind of disconcerting. But at the same time, I sort of reap what I sow, because you know, like I I'm only limiting myself to here in the city, and I really don't I don't want to move away. Uh, like if push comes to shove, I really have to bite the bullet and move away. But at the same time. I've had a lot of hardships happen in these past couple of, uh, or this last year anyway. And, you know, I've had good moments, I've had bad moments, and sort of everything in between. And I try to, I try to stay positive as much as I can. But, you know, every once in a while, you know, it's, I want to change focus. And, you know what, this is why I've decided to start Let's Playing again. Like, it, it sounds kind of trivial, but... It is, it is something that I've always really liked to do, and as a hobby, I could really, I don't need a silver cricket. It probably gives me tons and tons of money, but I don't care. <laughs> but I, I kind of want to give this a shot. I want to, you know, really pound out and really make you guys, you know, get people engaged again, if that makes any sense. Have a, have a lot of fun again, because I don't have as much fun as I used to, mostly because I need to work all the time. And that's legitimate. It's always a legitimate thing that you, you, when you get older, you just gotta work. I mean, I live in an apartment by myself with, you know, my beautiful kitty, and it's, it's great. But at the same time, you know, I, I sort of enjoy this type of stuff. I enjoy hanging out with my friends and, and all that. But to afford this place, I need, I need money and I need to work, you know, long hours, like nine hour shifts, five days a week. Because it, it brings in the paycheck, and it's not something, it's not that I don't love the thing that I do, I actually, it's really hard to say it, but it, out of all the jobs that I've had over the years, this one in particular is probably the easiest job and the nicest community job that I've had. Most people come in and they don't usually have a chip on their shoulder, the customers are always super super friendly like to joke around and talk about movies and video games and the my co-workers are just fantastic too like they're they're my friends at work and outside of work so that's just it's like a, a piece of my life that I get to get to experience not to say that the job doesn't degrade me or make me feel like crap every once in a while but that comes with every job you know like and I try not to have my personality affected by that type of thing. Especially when things just don't go my way. And I'm sure that this happens a lot to people, and you, you try to be the best there ever was. You try to be a Pokemon master. Uh, but it, sometimes you just, you gotta, you gotta, you know, become a, a bird trainer instead. You know, you gotta single out, uh like a one one thing that you really really like and focus on it for a little while and that's what I want to do with these let's plays I want to focus on this type of stuff I want to not only not make it a job or anything like that but have fun again and that's what this let's play is all about it's something relaxing it's something that I can do and at the same time it will make everybody happy and myself happy so rock the frick on so let's talk to the chief sons first after that heartfelt moment with Winsor 13, uh, let us get back to uh, the game at hand. Oh, hey, I completely forgot, but you've got another request. The head farmer wants to add a shroom box to the farm. What? But we already have a shroom box. He could use it to cultivate mushrooms. It's going to cost a few resources, but you'll be able to gather a lot more mushrooms. It's a good trade-off. Okay, I guess he wants to upgrade it. I made a list of everything we need. I know you're busy hunting and all, but try to make some time for this. Alright, so actually, might as well take a look at this village request. Actually, yeah, to upgrade the shroom box, it just wants some resources, so... As you can see, I've farmed at least 800 resources the last time that we actually talked. So might as well get that all upgraded. Oh, and uh, off-camera, I uh, put a bunch of... Uh, whatchamacallit, put some herbs to be grown. Uh, speaking of which, when I, I actually misspoke in my previous part about raising mushroom or blue mushrooms, I was actually raising toadstools. And toadstools will be used to uh, make 
uh, files later on, or not files, uh, coatings later on for my bow. But, do 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 do. Ah, uh, there is a lot of people that want to talk to me. So, I guess we'll talk to the, the chief, actually, now. Well, standing inside the chief. Okay, this is... Okay, I have chief's, chief's face through my chest. Okay, I've got a head burst in chief. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you finally saw the son of a gun. The azure lightning. The lord of the sea. The, the stinking sea devil. Okay, made that last one up. But you saw it, right? The Legiacrus. So what's the word, Hunter? Think you can take it? <laughs> you don't have to answer. I don't expect you to run off and slay the beast right now. To be honest, I'm just happy I made it back in one piece, kid. I forgot to size you up for a casket before you left. <laughs> just ribbing you. It's been a good day. Both you and the men of the hunting fleet are home safe and sound. We lost two of our, our three sh boats. Oh, that's three ships. Oh, goodness. But so what? Boats can be replaced, but not lives. Hear that, sailors? Be careful. All right, so I guess this is the uh, the fleets that they're talking about. So this is the fleet captain. Ah. We live on the sea and for the sea. Salt water courses in our veins. That would actually kill you, but you don't know that. You know, it's just... You know, it's just a little gripe. It's just a, a little thing that I want to point out. You know, because I'm that guy. I'm that. I'm that Buzz Joy, or Kill Joy, Buzz Joy, Buzz Kill. Oh my God! I like mix like three different things. Oh, I need to go to bed. They for sea salt water. We are the three, the proud, the hunting fleet. Our mission is fishing. Bring the sea's bounty to the village. I'm talking pin tuna so fresh. It's still twitching. But common sea monsters are our greatest foes. It's our job to drive off creatures that might harm the village. Wait a minute. You're the hunter that showed up recently, aren't you? You look pretty tough for a landlubber. Hmm. If only the three of us in the hunting fleet could return to our former glory, we'd show you hunter who's best. Alas, two of our three boats were splintered stem to stern. Really? You really call it a stem? I guess it's the bow. The bow is the is the back of the boat, right? So it could also be the stem, because it's it's the back of a flower. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that makes sense. When the Legia Crest attacked. For now, only my boat is in any shape to leave port. We're not gonna let that stop us from fishing though. You listen here. If all three of our boats were seaworthy, we'd be there. <laughs> we'd be three times as tough as you. Right? Right? Let me cipher this out. Three of us, one of you. Minus two, carry the nine. Yes. I'm ciphering. My ciphering is flawless. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Carrying the nine. Yes, my ciphering is flawless. That's fantastic. It is actually kind of neat. A lot of this dialogue I've actually skipped through in my like previous playthroughs. So it's nice to actually finally take the time to read it. <laughs> anyway, if you want to make a fishing request, go chat with a fishmongress over there. She's more fearsome than Legiacris when she gets angry. So you better stow your tongue hunter attitude. I, I, I don't know what he's talking about, but okay. Uh, I guess this is the fishmongers. My word, can you believe this nonsense? It's not a one thing, of course. It's got to be something else. What happened to the days when current events were just about the current? Now we've got a laggy, where, whatever, giving us grief. Well, at least we managed to salvage one of the boats. And most importantly, our boys lives. We will fish again. Which reminds me, since you're part of our village now, aren't you curious of how the hunting fleet operates? Yes, I am, but I'm not going to go through all this fucking dialogue. I will tell my faithful viewers, as I, I just realized that Virginia is, like, stepping on a fish. <laughs> I mean, it's the, the dock is going up and down, and the characters aren't, but, you know, that's just a little nitpick. Alright, so thanks for the power pouch. So I'm actually going to dispatch them. Uh, right now there's really not a lot I can do with them, but I'm going to give them a fish finder. And what this will do is actually make them bring back certain resources. 
and a lot of the fish can be useful and can also uh, be sold for a little bit of cash. A lot of them can be turned in for extra resource points with uh, uh, the, whatchamacallit, uh, oh gosh, I've forgotten his name, uh, with the, the chief's son, and you can get extra resources, and some fish actually aid in uh, making certain barrel bombs and also bullets and coatings. So we'll definitely want to at least you know, be gathering some every once in a while. Like I, I definitely in my previous playthroughs I did not concentrate on the fishing as much. But uh, alrighty then. So I think the last thing we need to do is talk to the guild sweetheart. Wow is it true? You were attacked by Legiacris? Well you actually saw me. I don't know if you were why how does she see me going through I don't know uh, show me your teeth marks I don't know I got shoulder tackled to be perfectly honest I don't think I got bit I can't believe you made it back you're tough monster tough well I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure luck played a part too it might still be out there so uh, keep your eyes peeled that said I never imagined you'd tear through quests like this and I'm a pretty good judge I do say so myself Anyway, let's get down to business. While you were out questing, I had a small chat with the guild. Guess what I've got for you? A brand new monster slaying request. This time, it's Ludroth. And what? And what, you ask, is a Ludroth? According to my in-depth and kind of heavy guidebook. Ludroth, carnivorous monsters that live near water. Prone to violence. Jeepers creepers. <laughs> well... It's nice, nice working with you. Wow, my, thanks. Thanks a lot. Uh, I, I mean, uh, don't worry. This is a Mogo, a Mogo Woods monster. So what does a uh, writer know? You'll be fine. Probably. Just, you know, be careful. Especially against enemies you don't know with sharp teeth. Now, off you go. Remember, prep time is everything. Alright, so. This is actually technically an urgent quest. And these urgent quests will pop up always when uh, you need to like to advance to the next rank this is also um something that happens online as well so you should be ready for it when they appear because they're gonna make it a lot easier for you to fight the bigger monsters their monsters so big such big monsters oh gosh all right so let's go kill some ludroth and then we shall call it apart i kind of feel bad like i want to at least do maybe two to three quests apart especially when i have like a hunt quest and then a capture quest for that same monster kind of want to put them into uh a video each complete this quest is a big big deal it could go a long way in getting you recognized by the guild your target is an aquatic monster the ludra it might just be a bit stronger than you're used to let me guess you're ready and raring to go. Of course you are. Just uh, just do your best, but uh, uh, don't let us down. <laughs> I think I skipped a piece of her dialogue there, but yeah, she was just informing us that this is actually almost like, I guess, a promotion quest. And I totally didn't empty my bag after all that. Oh well. Not that it's, like, that big of a deal. And Le Group. I think uh, this armor set also gives me plus HP, doesn't it? Yeah, it gives me 20 plus in the combination. Which will, it's pretty much, with three of the books, I think, uh, it's pretty much guaranteed that you can make everything in the game. It's definitely a good, uh, good suit to have, like, starting off, that's for sure. I wish I should have actually used a different weapon, to be perfectly honest. Maybe uh, in the next part, I'll switch my weapon up so you guys can get a, a feel for a different weapon. I don't know. Out of out of the uh, the four that I've mentioned, or the four that I'm I'm going to be using, do you want me to see me use a bow, a hammer, a sword and shield, or a lance? Let me know in the comments below. Which ones do you want to see more of? Because I would love I would love to. To sort of cater to, you know, my fans' needs, the people that are watching, the people that are commenting and liking and favoriting my videos, you know? Like, it's a big thing. It's a really big thing. So these are Ludroth. There's Gary. I actually think they're, the, like, the cutest little, like, sea dragon monsters imaginable. I, I don't know why I find them cute. Because, like, look at this. They're like, we're gonna fucking destroy you. Here we come. We're running. 
We're dancing! We're jumping! <laughs> We're uh, vomiting water! Whoa! Watch it there, buddy. But yeah, these are the guys that actually start taking multiple hits to kill. So, five more monsters. I, didn't, I always thought this was less. Alright, so that one's dead. Oh gosh. <laughs> Jump slash that I totally missed with. Oh, he's he's dead. He's dead. He's a he's a Ghana. Hopefully, I can pick up some uh, some good stuff from these guys. Well, that was weird because he was like on top of the water, like piece of the water like stayed. Yeah, there it happened again. That's really weird. I mean, it's cool, but it's super weird. All right, got myself an immature sponge. Gosh, so immature. We're serious business hunters. That's <laughs> serious business hunter. I don't know why that cracks me up. <laughs> to be perfectly honest. I'm like, yeah, I just made a funny. I'm like, no, no, I really didn't. But I guess that's just par for the course. I mean, I'm not, I'm not batting. I'm not batting fucking 20 or anything. Or however that saying goes. I can be I can be funny if I want to. I actually kind of like this quest for uh, like this specific reason. It helps you fight monsters in and out of the water for a change. Because like for example, there I escape that by uh, swimming upwards. Boom! See, I did it again, and that I totally I totally deserved. There we go. To do. Oh, I just totally put my weapon away. Probably shouldn't do that. Uh, if you want to... Uh... Ooh, that's okay. I actually don't know what's happening. Alright, that guy's dead. And there we go. Oh, this Ludra. Because he's gonna... Oh, gosh. He's gonna disappear. I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss my carving opportunity. No. Yeah. Okay. I got it. <laughs> I think it was this one I killed. Oh, this is the one thing about uh, this, and I'm definitely gonna need to get a Circle Pad Pro for my XL. Though they haven't actually made them here in North America, but you can order Japanese ones, and they work just as good. Uh, I think my uh, my buddy Simon, which you probably, if any of you have been watching my streams, uh, he's hunted with us a couple of times online, and uh, he's uh, he's got one of them, and he says it's something you need you need to play this game on the go anyway. Get some extra gold, eat some rations because we can, mm, delicious. And there we are, another successful, sexful, sexful, huh? My mind's somewhere where it shouldn't be. <laughs> but uh, another successful hunt. So let us send all this to my box. And wow, that actually gave me a lot of honey. Jesus. They're really sort of pouring on the honey in these first couple of quests. I think they're expecting you to be making mega potions and taking a lot of damage. Mm. Oh, would you look at that? We got ourselves a big ass ship. I've always liked the Moga Village music. I don't know how much you guys uh, like it, but uh, I think it's pretty freaking sweet. But I think that will be it for today. So let us just bum 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 uh, gestures. You know what, let's just kick back, relax, and uh, I will see you guys later. So take care guys, stay frosty, and happy hunting.